Howdy people, my name is Tom D. Welderman here with Texas Horse Hunts. Now folks, do you want to hunt horses? Of course you do. Sick of vegans, sick of hippies telling you not to hunt horses? It's our God-given right to get out there and hunt a horse. What kind of horse do you want to hunt? Stallion or mare? It don't matter. You want to kill a colt? We'll make it happen. You just come out. You want a female horse? You can mount the female horse on your wall. Are you just, you can go to our website www.texashorsehunt.com or you can call me, Tom D. Welderman, on the phone at 512-666-0961. Here's a call coming in right now. Hey, this is Tom. Who's this? No, I'm in a commercial shoot. No, I know you're going to, I know, look, I've got, I can pay the bill. I just, I'm busy. Horse hunting is down this time of year and you know, collectors, am I right? Let's talk a little bit about the history of horse hunting. The history of horse hunting. Now, horse hunting started back from the medieval ages. Horses were considered to be not only dangerous, but a bad omen, all right? Look at the book, look at the Bible. The only bad guy in the entire Bible, besides Satan and Judas and that snake in the tree, who I think was also Satan, is the, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Now I'm saying, if we kill these horses, no apocalypse. They can ride in here on Vespa scooters. Hey, don't take it from me. You take it from the satisfied customer. Take it away. My name is Bert Trapp. I am not a paid actor. I am a satisfied customer of Texas Horse Hunts. On my horse hunt, we had a spectacular time. We took down two stallions and came upon a mare as she was giving birth and took her and her foal. What a trip. Thanks, Tom D. Welderman IV. You made all of my dreams come true when I went on my own custom horse hunt with my friends. Friend. All right, thanks, Dwight. Now look guys, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Horse hunting is expensive, but for a limited time, it's still the same amount. I can't cut budgets. Can't cut budgets. Won't make any money, but you have a good time. Go to TexasHorseHunt.com. That's TexasHorseHunt.com, your only source for hunting horses in Texas. And if anybody else says that they're as good as us, they're an imposter! Hey, can I get your help reading a text message? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, man. I uh, just it got. Open? Yeah, I, it should be. Is it's it from, from Sarah? Sarah? Yeah, yeah, Sarah. It says, "I live in Boston. Did you uh, take? Ah, sorry. Did you take the bus all the way to Austin? I can respond." Well, the answer is yes, I did. Yes, I did. Sorry. But she's blind too, so she's not oh, going to okay. be able to see it. So. Okay, I just you took the bus to all the way it. from Florida to oh, Austin. Okay. And she's in Boston. Yeah, she says, I live in Boston. Did you take the bus all the way to Austin? 
She said, well, I'm in Boston. How are you going to get home? I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll start walking. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Hello, and welcome to the Dusseldorf's Beanbag. I am the Dusseldorf, joined by the Piranha. As always, welcome, Piranha. Uh, before I start the show today, uh, a lot of people are asking, where are you? You are halfway in the house, halfway outside. There's the leaves. There's a lake behind you. This is not a lake. This is the boat in which my cousin lives. He has a drug problem. Anyhow, let's get to the show. The special guest today is the spaceman who was abducted by the aliens. Very special guest. Everybody welcomes the spaceman. <laughs> Thanks, Dieseldorf. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Just sit down here. Yeah, just sit down. It's a beanbag. Okay. All right. Ugh. So what happened? Why did the spacecraft go so out of control into space? Why were you up there alone? Well, I originally started out with a crew of about a thousand. Um, half of them died from gambling addiction. Half of them died from a suicide addiction. You know, once something becomes popular, everybody wants to do it, and you get addicted to it. So what is it like in space? Is it dark? Yeah, it's dark. So what happens? You, you was floating along. Yeah, I was floating along. I was in space. Uh, and then the I was going to kill myself. I'll be honest with you. Um, not because it was cool to kill yourself because everybody else did it. Okay, it was a completely different reason. I wanted to kill myself because I was lonely. Ah, you was so lonely. You had no girlfriend. It wasn't that I didn't have a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend. I had to eat her when there was no one left. I was lost in space, Dusseldorf, floating in a tin can, like in that song. Do you know the song? I know this song. It is by the man who looks like a woman, Michael Jackson. This is not the man. He's the white man. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Yes, I think it was of Michael Jackson. So I was floating into the space. Uh, and then uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> tractor beam. So the aliens, they pulled you up into the crafts. And what happened? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Uh, what they were doing was they found a way to harness people's energies, their, their heartbeat, the way they live. This does not have the heartbeat. I made it a food. Anyhow, so they, they they use it for energy. Yeah, they were using me for energy. So, okay, this is what happened. They strapped me to the wall, uh, and then they were using my heartbeat and my, you know, and my natural uh, being, uh, my living. They used me for energy to fuel their ship. Is that ship? Where was they going? Where, was, where did they want to go? I don't know where they were going to. I just know that I was their battery. But something went wrong because apparently they had never, they had never got a human before so my polarity wasn't right and it short-circuited the board what does this mean so circuit like the movie from the 80s if it's a karate kid those are two movies from the 80s you're talking about short circuit and karate kid the johnny five is alive we need more input we need the input but the aliens have robots like the johnny five how did we get on this topic this is not the same movie you got johnny five and then you've got you got karate kid with the Cobra Kai. You must vax on, vax off. You paint the fence. Do you understand she paints the fence? Yeah, I understand. This is not the point. This is not the point. I was kidnapped by aliens, Dusseldorf. Johnny Five, what happened to you? So it short-circuited, and then the whole thing, it, I just ripped through the wall, essentially, and I got vacuumed out into space. Uh, and somehow I survived, I guess. I was going to kill myself again, too, though. So you survived so much adversity just to keep... You sound like a loser, like a quitter. You want to quit. Yeah. I'm fine with quitting. Quitting is fine. Hey, do the door... Oh, do you mind? This is, this is, this is an important call. I gotta t I'm sorry. Do you mind? No, go goes ahead. It's only like you're on live TV. Like, just to put on the lights don't cost the money and all the, f the film equipment, the funny. No, go ahead. Take the phone call. Do the door does not care. Take the phone call. Talk to your mother. I hope it's your mom. How she yells at you. Okay, I'm going to take the phone call. Are you fine? This is fine. Go ahead and take the phone call. 
Hello? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm free. What's, what's going on, Captain? It's my captain. It's my captain from my spaceship. I make out a job. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, no, you can't. No, you can't do that. You cannot do that. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. I'm the only one. You. I got a, I got a promotion. Good news, I got a promotion, so I'm promoted. That does not sound like you got some promotion. That sounded like you were fired. I got a promotion to where I don't have to, I don't have to work anymore. So I, it's it's good for me. It's a good thing. You were fired from your job. Just admit that you were fired because you're a loser. You're a quitter. You want to you just go. You can't even be the battery. You're so bad you can't be the battery. Shut up, Dusseldorf. I never wanted to be the battery. Okay, I never. Want, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask to become the battery. Dusseldorf is sorry. All right, let's calm sit down. No, you know what? I never wanted to be on this show, and I never wanted to be in space, and those aliens were the only friends I had in the first place. I'm out of here, Dusseldorf. I'm out of here. I'm sick of your crap, Dusseldorf. What a soul loser this is. Uh, stay tuned for some more Dusseldorf. We'll be back with the aliens. All right, man. Hey, Appreciate thanks. Yeah, have a great day. Thanks. What's up, dude? Hey, man. Dude. Have you read this book? It's amazing, man. Brilliant writing. I think you'd really like it. Uh, you know what, dude? I don't read. You think just because I work in a bookstore covered by books I read, man? I don't have time to be sitting around reading books. Okay, sorry, man. I just thought maybe you'd be interested. Maybe. Oh, you just you just thought, well, yeah, yeah. You know what? What do you do for a living? I'm an accountant. Oh, you're an accountant. Okay. So maybe I'll just come to your house and then you can just do my taxes. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, man. If you want to come over, okay. I've got you, snacks. You know what? Just stop. Get out of my store. What? Get out of my store! Whatever, man. Forget this. Yeah, get out of my store! Forget you, man. Hey, you forgot your book! Or maybe I'll just take it home and I'll read it. Next to the fire, I'll warm my bones with a warm book. Idiot. What's up, next? Uh, yeah, do you guys have, uh, J.R.R.R. Tolstoy's Theme of Groans, um... On tape? Yes. Oh my god, yes! We got multiple copies. I cannot stop listening to it. The character development is amazing. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I need somebody to read a text message. I'm meeting my fiance. I got you. Thanks, buddy. I'm, it's from uh, my fiance, Sarah. Sarah, it says, for the last time, you're my, my brother. I don't feel that way about you. That's it? That's, no, that's, that's what it says on there, yeah. No right? address. Um, no address. All right. Where are, you looking, where are you looking to go? Well, I was gonna meet her for lunch. Oh, okay. For, uh, do you know where she was going? No, it's, she was supposed to text me, but now she's sending me mixed signals, so. Oh, okay. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, no hey, I hear a dog there. Hey, uh, can I get somebody to help me? I'm meeting my fiance for lunch, and uh, I need her to, I, I need you to read my email. I forgot my headphones. My, my email, but it's a text message. Okay. I think I popped it up. From Sarah? Yes. You read it. Uh, it says, for the last time you're my brother, I don't feel that way about you. Alright, that's, that's awkward. Yeah, that's rough. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Alright. She's like my half-sister, kind of. Last day of flight school, you did it. You got straight A's. You are in space flight. How's it feel? It feels great. It feels All right. Great. Good. Can't wait to get up to space. Hey, we can't wait to find out a way to get you into space. What do you mean, find out a way? What are you talking about? I've, my whole life has been devoted to going to space. Yeah, no. What we can't you can't space trap. What year do you think it is? Are you kidding me? You were just training to figure out that when we do know how to get to space, you can get there. Well, what are all these computers? Aren't we in mission control? Aren't they controlling something? What? Are you, this is a minesweeper tournament. I just had you meet me here because this is what I do on the weekends, okay? It's my only getaway from the wife. Well, what have I done with my life? What has the point been? 
Uh, look, I, I don't know. So you picked a bad career choice, obviously. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. But no, we can't go to space. Bad career choice? Everyone wants to be an astronaut. Yeah, everyone wants to be, but no one is because you can't actually go to space. Well, I'm out of here. Well, wait, wait. Don't go. Look, theoretically, if we ever have a spaceship, you're on it. Okay. Okay. Good luck. I'll miss you. Later. Well, hey there, Spaceman. What is we can do for you out here? Well, just got my certification for space exploration. I'm looking to get to space. Well, hey, look, I got this magic bullet right here to get you right up there to space real quick. A bullet? No, I kind of had a rocket in mind. It says fireworks. Well, look, this is like a rocket except metal. Uh, no, well, maybe. It is a protrusion. It's a protruder. It's a protrusion. You want it? I guess. All right. If it's going to get me to space. It's going to get you to space. Now, look, do you trust me? Yeah. Strangely. Well, we just met. I don't know I don't know why, but look, let me strap you in here. Okay. Now, how does that feel? Do you feel safe? Not really. It's it just barely tied on. Okay, well, just don't hit the big button on the... Oh, oh no! I'm going to miss you, space man! Man, space is really mapped out for never being explored before. And what is that noise? Oh, sh Hello and welcome back to the Dusseldorf Beanbag. I am the Dusseldorf. Uh, welcome everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am joined today by the Piranha. Always welcome, Piranha. But you have something in your teeth. Let me see closer. Never mind. That is fine. Uh, I am very excited about the guest today. He's a very good guest. He is the, uh, he is the alien. Uh, so everyone, please welcome the alien to the show. Welcome, alien. Hello, welcome. Peace to God. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Dusseldorf. Uh, it's good to see you. So the alien. I have been talking to someone in which you know he is a spaceman. Mm. He says that you took him up on his on on your craft, and you tried to use him as a battery. What happens there? It, he was about to take his own life. We we were gonna give him purpose. You were doing him as a favor, right? I mean, he had nothing to live for. So I figured, why not try and harness the power of the human heart? Yeah. Plug some wires into it. Sure. Hook it up to the main, you know, power grid. The main grid, yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, I knew that this probably was a bad idea, so I put my spacesuit on before I hooked up everything. And, yeah, so. So there was not enough spacesuits on the craft to have everyone wear the spacesuit? Oh, no, there was plenty. Everyone had their own. Uh, I, I probably should have warned them that it was a good idea to put their spacesuits on. Once again, I, you know, don't always think ahead. Ah, uh, so they were sucked into space with their mothers. You had the spacesuit on. You are floating in space. And then you were picked up. What happened from there? From, from there, what happened was I was riding on the pod that the spaceman was in. And then we got picked up by some intergalactic uh, freighter. And um, and then they took us. They took us here. So, okay. So the Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, welcome to the Earth. Thank you. This is your first time on the Earth. Yeah, I, lo I love it. I I'm a big fan. That's good to hear. What do you like the most? The homeless. The ho You like the homeless people. Yeah. Most people do not like the homeless people. You are a philanthropist. Oh, I eat humans. Oh, you eat the humans. Yeah, and they're easy to catch. They are. But do they touch? I imagine that the homeless meat will taste salty, the grease and the sweat, the dirt in between the cracks. I I eat some homeless people here and there. Um, it, it keeps me going. You know, I gotta I gotta live. And the I'm sustenance. I'm allergic to possum, and I take their signs to help me build the spaceship that's gonna get me back home. You're but, building a spaceship from the cardboard. Yeah, but it's going kind of slow because, you know, I can only catch one or two, you know, homeless people. And 
and their signs are pretty small. So I need to find bigger homeless people, I guess. You do not judge the homeless person by the size of the sign. You judge by the smell. And second of all, you business this shit from the cardboard. Once you feed the atmosphere, it's a burn up. You know, I'm not too familiar with some of the materials here. So this is a trial run. We'll see. It's just the first thing that I've been able to get my hands on. Listen, I believe in you. Dusseldorf, look at the Dusseldorf. I believe in you. And I want to say that I have piles of carbon from when I moved in my garage. You want to go to the garage? Yes. We go to the garage. I give you all the cardboard you need. Oh, that would be great. Well, let's go to the garage. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. All right, let's go to the garage. Uh, thank you for the alien, for the do the dust beanbag. And we are going to the garage to get the cardboard now. Uh, stick around. We'll see you later. Hey, can I get some help reading a text message? I'm meeting my fiance for lunch. What do you need, like to text her? Yeah, no, uh, just to read the text message. I think okay. I got it on the screen. Hey, baby, is it okay if I have sex with your brother today? Mm. Not sure it's a good. <laughs> well, can you no? Wait, wait, can you text back? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, today is fine. I'm. Done. Thanks, man. No problem. Hey, I hate to bother you. Can you read a text message for me? I'm meeting my fiance for lunch. And she sent me the address. I don't see anything. From Sarah? The doctor called. We both have herpes. What? For real? Hey, uh, can you help me read this text message? All right. No, thanks, buddy. I'm meeting my fiance. From Sarah? Yeah. Hey, baby, is it okay if we have sex with you? What's, what's it say? Uh, it says, hey, baby, it is okay if I have sex with your brother today. Ooh. Can you reply, I guess, or like just today? Yeah, I, she can't keep doing this. What are you writing? Soliloquy? Okay, thanks, man. He typed, I guess, just for today. What's going on? Howdy, Tom D. Wilderman here from Texas Horse Hunts. A lot of people ask me, Tom, how do we know that you have the most quality, top quality, best hunts around? Well, let me tell you, don't listen to me. You listen to these shining reviews that I got on my voice answering machine. You people are crazy hunting and killing these horses. Don't you have anything better to do? I'm going to do everything I can in my power to stop it. That's not the right one. Listen, guys, you're going to love these horse hunts. This is Tom D. Weldman Guarantee. Just listen to this satisfied customer. Heavy trees are horrible people, and you should not kill horses because they're beautiful, majestic animals. And I hope one runs you over and kicks you in your head and stomps on you. And you're a horrible person. Have a horrible day. A lot of people asking me, Tom, how do we know that you have the best horse hunts? Well, hey, don't take it from me. You take it from these satisfied customers. Here's an actual voicemail that I received about my Texas horse hunts. Guess what? You've been caught. And now Facebook's going to find out what, what kind of people live in Texas. Hope you have a good life. Oh, don't listen to that one. That one's my mom. Let's listen to this one. This is the real voice, man. Tom, you're a 
sick, disgusting devil. I hope you die. This is not I the right voicemail again. Can punch your family. Hey, you want to be a satisfied customer just like them? Just give us a call. Here's the number. I think I 